Tondo boots are traditionally made at a great price. They haven't changed the way they've made a boot since they started in 1960. Five. And today I have the Hondo 3416 and you have a chance to win a pair for yourself. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya and then I'll be on my way. Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I'm so excited to have Hondo Boots back on the channel. This is model number 3416. I've become a huge fan of Hondo boots since I first did the video back at Country Square Western Wear. And before we start and jump into the review of this 3416, I wanna thank cartersboots.com for making this video possible. Carter's Boots is a boot store and repair shop in Bozeman, Montana with an online shop where you can get Hondo boots, Anderson Bean boots, and their own brand of boots made in the USA. Plus, you can get them for 10% off when you use my code, which is just Jeremiah Craig at checkout. This is a great way for you to save money on boots and support a small business in the process. So head on over to cartersboots.com after this video and see what they have to offer. Now, without further ado, let's get into the details about this awesome traditionally made boot from Hondo with the Rundown. This Hondo 3416 features chocolate Nubuck Bullhide on the vamp and the counter. It's sort of a distressed look and Hondo Bullhide is so soft yet so durable. This also features a wide square toe with a double stitched welt. It comes in at 14 inches tall and features a double dip scallop up here. It also has a two inch stacked leather heel with a spur shelf too. For an outsole, it has a leather outsole with pegs and nails down here alongside the shank. Plus this 3416 features a rubber midsole. You can see it, that's what this little black line is between the welt and the outsole. This rubber midsole will help save your insole on the inside if you happen to run through this leather outsole, which happens frequently with leather outsoles. Down here we also have a rubber heel cap which is much more strong than some of the other ones that I've tried recently. Last year I tried the Hondo 7875 and I criticized how soft the rubber heel cap was. This is much harder. They've made an improvement here for sure. On the inside, it's leather lined all the way through, super soft, love the feeling, and of course, you do have the traditional hard leather insole in here as well. So. It is a hard surface if this is your first time checking out Hondo. Traditional boots have a hard leather insole, which might be shocking to some folks out there who like more of a foam insole, but in the long run, it forms to your foot and you don't have to get anything replaced. So I actually like the traditional make much better, which is why I like Hondo boots quite a bit. And if you have been watching this channel for any length of time, you already know. I'm a fan of Hondo boots. This one in particular is coming in at $300 on cartersboots.com, but when you use my promo code, Jeremiah Craig at checkout, it comes down to around 270. And they also have this boot, I believe it's the 3418 without a spur shelf. And now it's time to try this on and see how it looks and feels. All right, I got on the Hondo 3416 right now and it feels great, it looks great too. What do you guys think? That chocolate Nubuck Bullhide is much more supple than you would expect. Now Bullhide is really thick, really tough and durable and on some companies boots it can be really stiff. But that's not the case with these Hondo 3416s. This Nubuck Chocolate Bullhide is supple for how thick the leather is. So it's going to be a pleasure to break in. Some bull hides that I've tried this year and previously have just been a pain in the ass to break in just because it's so thick and so stiff. But these chocolate Nubuck bull hide boots feel incredible. Really looking forward to breaking these boots in. I chose to go with an 11 and a half B, which you would have to order special from a company like Carter's Boots. 
and then wait a while to have Hondo Boots make them because usually companies stock D's and double E's, but Hondo can do B widths. So this is a pretty true size and because it's a square toe, I decided to go down a half a size because there's more room in the boot overall. So usually I'm a 12B, chose to go with an 11 and a half B here and it fits amazingly, really perfect fit. I feel like Hondo is pretty true to size. Maybe a little bit more on the snug side of things in the sizing, but I really like how they break in. Here's the POV and you can see that beautiful toe bug stitching. I really like the colors that they chose for that and the beautiful new buck bull hide. Also, you can see the white stitching and that's a double stitched welt there. And I know some of you could take it or leave that look, but it's not gonna stay that bright and white for long. I'm sure within a couple of months, it'll be just as brown, <laughs> if not close to the chocolate Nubuck bull hide there. So that white is uh, not gonna be that bright white for long. But we gotta see how they hold up in the extended test. If you wanna know more about the giveaway for this, you'll have to wait until the end because it's time to go on an adventure and test these boots out. Let's get it. It was cold, wet, and nasty for these Hondo boots when I arrived at Mothersfield Stables to help out with morning chores. Mothersfield is run by Carol Kozlowski who campaigned the acclaimed Connemara stallion Aaron Gobra through the upper levels of eventing in the 1990s. Gobra was also known as the little horse that could. Today, I helped Laura Woodruff with chores and we started out by bringing some horses in. and taking others out. Then of course it was time to clean stalls. She brought in the spreader so that we could just pitch it all in. And it was a tight fit. After the stalls were taken care of, we took a moment to hose down this horse's legs and tails to clean the mud and road spray he got from running around in the field. He wasn't having much of it though and kept stepping on the hose. Come on big guy, not again. Now for a tail cleaning. Soap it up, rinse, and now for a fancy conditioner too. One final rinse, and he's done. Now it's finally time for breakfast. Yummy. Then it was up to the hayloft to restock for later. Look out below. The 
last thing to do is clean up, and this leaf blower made it really easy. There were horrible conditions for these Hondo boots today, but they did well through it all. Huge thanks to Kara Kozlowski and her crew for allowing me to work with them for this extended test. If you guys wanna learn more about her and her work at Mother's Field Stables, I put some links to articles in the description. Now onto my final thoughts for this Hondo 3416. After all that work, these boots look pretty good, all things considered. They did get a little color loss along the side of the sole and the heel, which is normal for the conditions. But I brushed the boots off, used some distressed leather conditioner on the new buck, and had some edge dressing along the sides of the sole and the heel, and it looks like they never stepped foot in a barn at all. First, I want to mention that the conditions I wore these Hondo boots in for the extended test is not something that you're gonna to wanna to put a traditionally made cowboy boot through multiple days a week. Barnyard acids from horse crap and pee combined with wet weather like you saw could rot out a cowboy boot within a couple of months. Tall rubber boots would really be much better for a day like that, but every once in a while, cowboy boots can handle it and it will really help the break-in process. In fact, because of that wet weather and working in these boots all day long, I'm feeling the imprint of my foot in the hard leather insole, which is what I love about it. I'm feeling that much sooner than what I would otherwise had they not been through those conditions. Speaking of the break-in, let's talk about that for a little bit. My first impressions of this rubber midsole was that it really didn't feel that much different from a boot that didn't have a rubber midsole. But after a few hours of wearing it, I did notice that it is just a little bit harder to break in with the rubber midsole and the leather outsole. So it does take a little bit more, but it's just something that I noticed after having these boots on for a couple of hours. And the bull hide just is awesome, guys. It's not as stiff as some other bull hide boots that you're gonna try, and it just keeps getting softer the more that you wear it and the more that it breaks in, but retains its tough durability. I've noticed some folks commenting that rubber midsoles will help with water resistancy of an outsole going into the insole, but it really didn't make that much of a difference just because it was so wet during the day that I test these, I noticed that the water would just be coming through the stitching here on the Goodyear welt. So I don't think that the midsole, at least up here in the Northeast, helps out with any water resistancy, but I do see this as being an extra level of defense to protect the insole when you do happen to run through this leather outsole, which will happen because leather does wear away. Also, as I mentioned in the first impression, the heel cap is much stronger than the ones that I tried on the 7875. I really like the improvement here. Wearing boots in wet conditions can sometimes also force out these lemon wood pegs or these brass nails. You'll see sometimes after wearing some boots during wet days that pegs come out or nails come out. That didn't happen at all with this Hondo. 3416 and I love to see it, especially with the nails. Most frequently it happens with the nails because the lemon wood pegs are there to expand when the outsole gets wet and a lot of times brass nails will come out. No problem with either the lemon wood pegs or the brass nails. So even though it wasn't like uh, something that you would want to put a cowboy boot through on a regular basis, this Hondo 3416 did amazing with it. The only thing that I can see with it though is that I'm getting threads unraveling up here at the pull holes. This is a common Hondo problem. It's not that big of a deal as long as you catch it early enough. You can cut the thread down low and then burn it so that it doesn't continue unraveling. But you do have to catch it soon enough. That might bother some of you folks. It doesn't bother me just because it is a very simple fix. And a lot of times I'll also have problems with the toe bug stitching. Although I didn't 
have that problem with this 3416 this time around. So only up around the pull holes did I have some unraveling of the thread, but uh, again, that's easily fixed. Overall, I really like this 3416. It holds up to how Hondo boots have performed in the past and even better. And I also think that Hondo boots in general are some of the best value boots that you can get under $300, the 3416 included. And you have a chance to win a pair for yourself. Men who enter have a chance to win this 3416, brand new in their size, and the women who enter have a chance to win this 3514 Hondo boot, which I'll do a video of in the future. Here's what you have to do to enter. Three things. First, make sure you're subscribed to my channel, so hit that subscribe button right now. Number two, like this video so that we can work the YouTube algorithm. And number three, fill out the form at the link in the description with your name and email and a bunch of other information so I can email you if you win. I'll announce the winner on Friday, November 19th during a Boots and Ballads YouTube live stream where I'll play music, talk boots, and so much more. It all starts at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Thanks so much for watching today. Good luck in the giveaway, and I will see you on Friday, November 19th. Peace. Have a good one. Those Hondo boots wear so well, and on top of that, they're tough as hell. Get yours at Carter's online, and you will see they'll stand the test of time. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this video up here about a similar boot with a different toe shape, the Hondo 2012. Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.